Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Roland, your tutor. Today we'll be talking about grade 10 trigonometry. This section can be quite a killer if you're not careful, so you need to learn all of the rules really, really well. But it becomes literally a 80% to 100% easy game sort of situation if you learn really well. There's basically three things you need to take into account, and I'll quickly brush over them now. That's uh, sine, cos, and tan. So there's a couple of things that you should remember. There are a couple of um, trig identities that come later on. In this case, you've got special angles, and you've got a couple of things that you should remember. Like uh, if you have sine, it's, it's sine is S O over H. So you'd say shade your rear because X rays tan your exterior for the Y, X, and R values, but if you're doing opposite adjacent and hypotenuse, which you'll understand more of once we get into it, you'll say so katoa. And I'm sure you've heard so katoa plenty times. If you haven't and you're new to this, well, you, you should be excited because it's seriously easy. If you're looking at it, you've got the hypotenuse that's opposite the 90 degree angle. And that's always the case. Okay, so we, we're diving into it right away. I've given you my basic introduction, but here's how it goes. So you've got hypotenuse is always the longest line. It's always opposite the 90 degree. And if you're doing sine, cos, and tan, you need to realize that if you're going to be using your Sokotoa, it needs to be with a 90 degree triangle. The opposite line is always the one that's opposite the angle that you're referring to. So the opposite and adjacent, adjacent change depending on which angle you're talking about. If you're looking at the angle over here, you're looking at the opposite angle being on the right hand side of the triangle. However, if you're looking at the other, other angle at the top of the triangle where the blue and the green meet, the opposite side would be where the current adjacent side is. So we've got A, B, and C over there. And we refer to these sides as um, depending on the angle, as I've mentioned. So once again, if, if ever I go too quickly, don't worry. You can always pause the video, restart the video, or check out the notes that we have at thinkbrainwave.com. That's why I'm writing all these things down for you so that you can see it clearly if you don't have the video per se. So we are discussing the angle theta. And the angle theta is at the point A. The opposite side to point A is the line BC. So as you can see, I've written this in green, so it's very easy for you to follow if you're doing this through the notes. The hypotenuse, as I've mentioned, is the longest side. It's always opposite the 90 degree angle. And then the adjacent side is always dependent on where the opposite side is. You say it's the remaining angle in general, because if you're dealing with your certain angle, your opposite is always going to be the opposite angle. Your adjacent is the last third angle, and that sort of makes easy game sense, doesn't it? So make sure to take note of this. Very important, otherwise you will have loads of questions about it in the future. And if you do have questions, don't stress, you can, you can reply or mention it in the comments below. So let's get started. I mean, you look at um, something important like sine theta, and I spoke to you about Sokotoa. So here's where we get into it. Sine theta is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So we call that so, S-O-H, right? We say the opposite is the O, and we say the hypotenuse is the H. So if we're referring to whatever angle, we call it theta, we say sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. It's very important making a mental note of this sort of uh, picture, as you'll be dealing with sine a hell of a lot going through into grade 12. Your basics are developed now in grade 10. Grade 11, they sort of expanded upon, and then they get a little bit more hectic when you get into grade 12 and you start adding a lot more information onto your current basis. So now let's do the next one. We've done sine theta, so let's do cos theta now. Cos theta is so ka, so C A H, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So there we have it, C A H. Your adjacent is representing the A, and your hypotenuse represented by an H. Very, very important that you remember these things. Basically, you just need to remember so katoa. I mean, when you're doing trigonometry at the beginning of your test, just write so, so katoa or so katoa, however you feel like it. But it's very important that you do that, and then you do the identity and uh, the, the triangles that you'll get that come in the next sort of um, few minutes of this video. So don't go away. This is very important for you to learn for trig. Tan theta is um, 
TOA, which is opposite over adjacent. So you write tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Right, there we go. TOA, T-O-A, opposite over adjacent. Very, very important. You've got three of them done now. So it's very cool. Write them down, put them on your pencil case. Don't write them where you can cheat. Just literally remember it off a heart and then write it in, into the test when you get there. It's a very easy way to up your marks really quickly. Okay, so let's move forward. Now that we've got our basics out the way. So that's what I was saying to you earlier. This is giving us the Sokotoa or Sokotoa, depending on how you want to say it. Doesn't really matter, it just matters how you use it. There we go, Sokotoa, Sokotoa. See, I'm trying to get it into your head so you never forget it. It's very, very, very important. Sokotoa. And you'll see further on in, in trigonometry, this gets built upon, where I explained earlier we're using the X, the Y, and the R. So in that sort of case, you'd say shade your rear, because x-rays tan your exterior. You might never have heard of that one before, but that one's very good to remember, because that's when you start doing trigonometry of lines and geometry. So we have Sokotoa. It only applies, as I mentioned earlier, to right-angled triangles. I'm, I'm really taking time on this video, as I'm sure that this is going to be a video that you watch a couple of times. This is a very, very important part of your trigonometry. Trig is really easy. It only depends on whether you know your rules or not. If you don't know your rules, unfortunately, it's not going to be a, the easiest of subjects or, or topics to pass. But if you do know your rules, easy game. Right, so now we know that it's only right angle triangles and we're only going to focus on these triangles. Okay, so Katoa, so Katoa, don't forget that. If you want the notes, just remember thinkbrainwave.com, we've got everything there for you. And as I said, right angle triangles, do not forget it. If they, they might very well trick you, they give you like a non right angle triangle, they say, okay, cool, do so or do trigonometry, try and find the side. All you say is, uh, if they say specifically using trigonometry, you say, unfortunately, this is not a right angle triangle and the operation will not work. Okay, so now it's going to get a little bit more. What could seem like complicated, but it's actually very simple. We're doing reciprocal ratios. Now, reciprocal ratios, reciprocal literally means one over. So if you, if you take five and you say one divided by five, that would be the reciprocal of five. So cosec is the reciprocal of sine. So you're literally just taking one over sine, and that would be cosec. If ever you get this kind of question in a test, don't stress. Remember what we've done over here. So 1 over sine is cosec, 1 over cos is sec, and 1 over tan is cot. It can get confusing at times because you kind of see cosec and you think, okay, that must be cos and sec must be sine. Just remember, it's the other way around. I mean, if you're doing reciprocals, you're saying 1 over sine, then you just remember, okay, it's not cosec for, sine, for, for cos, it's cosec for sine. You must make sure to write these down as you start your trigonometry paper. So a lot of guys will struggle with this because they'll be like, what is this? And you'll know they haven't studied their, their trigonometry correctly. But a person like you who's watching this kind of video will know these rules, will have practiced them, and will have gone through the examples that follow in, in the videos that follow, and, in the, um, and on the website where you find the, all the exercises. Okay, so basically we simply flip the Sokotoa into S-H-O and C-H-A and T-A-O. So I don't know how to say that. Sounds like some shaw, cha, and tau. Okay, shaw cha tau. That could work. Shaw cha tau. That can work, really. So you got a bit of an African vibe, a bit of a Chinese vibe, and a bit of like Taiwanese, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, just remember that. That gives you your cosec, sec, and cot. And once again, reciprocal is one over whatever you're dealing with. So if ever a teacher asks you or an exam asks you, listen, what is the reciprocal of x you just say 1 over x it's literally as simple as that nothing to stress about all right so just remember these things sokotoa and short cha tau and you'll have an easy game 